Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very special episode of CS News. A lot of stories for all of you guys today. As always, let's get right into it. First off, very briefly in CS News, we do have alternate attacks and their primary opera, Kiev, is now off that roster. He left this morning a couple of hours ago with this tweet right here. Yes, their primary opera and definitely has interest, at least in North American teams like NRG, CLG, maybe even European teams like Mouse Sports. As of right now, guys, primary opera that is key for alternate attacks has now left that lineup. I do expect within coming weeks he will be announced somewhere. There is certainly demand for an opera like this, guys. And shortly after my last episode of CS News, DreamHack went or otherwise known as DreamHack Zowie Open also did conclude and Gambit Gaming took their second big tournament together with this lineup. Obviously the new addition Hobbit over there. Hobbit a great addition because he looked amazing throughout this tournament. Definitely top fragging for at least a majority of the games they had together. I'll talk about that later on. But yeah Zeus and his squad of Gambit Gaming take another 50k prize pool home and they actually swept Renegades in the Grand Finals 2-0 with a scoreline 16-12 and 16-10. So really briefly talking about the talent here. There was really some great talent here although they did avoid Dignitas. Dignitas losing the first two matches against Flipside as well as Kingwin. So they were knocked out of group stages, but other than Dignitas, they beat teams Cloud9, they beat Godsend, both in best of three series there. Gambit Gaming looking quite strong, although we have people like Thorin negating their victory. I would say a solid victory here for Gambit Gaming, guys, and even looking more dominant against team like Renegades as well. Godsend in the semifinals, Cloud9 to get a groups. A great win here for this team, and I would not say Zeus is your primary guy anymore. You definitely see right now, we have Hobbit and Mew carrying this team majority of the time, either, and even though third, fourth fraggers are probably Doja and Adren, I would not say Zeus, definitely not one of their top performers here and especially I want to talk about really quick as well uh, the reason I had this on the thumbnail is it actually came to the point where people were checking out Zeus's profile and seeing that he had been playing 10 hours a day for the past two weeks straight for you guys do not know uh, CS coach you know they check this on the steam they can check your last two weeks of gameplay he played 140 hours the past two weeks that equates to about 10 hours a day and people were you know the whole community uproared like what the heck are you idling are you just leaving the game open so much to the point where Zeus tweeted out this and confirmed yes he had been playing that much and we you know for a guy who's been playing 10 hours a day for for two weeks straight, I would have expected a lot more power out of him. I would say, as of right now, Hobbit and Mew are these top two fraggers. Certainly, Hobbit looking amazing for the Gambit Gaming roster. But either way, guys, he is leading the team to a victory. You can argue maybe he has a morale boosting ability, you know, maybe in game talking ability where he leads this team. Gambit Gaming looking very solid as of right now and going into the major qualifier, a definite morale booster here. And Tricked Esports also signs an academy team and they join this short list of people so far Epsilon, Fnatic, and also another Swedish roster there. We have so many Swedish rosters actually having these academy rosters alongside Godsent too. All these teams, you know, it seems to be right now a European thing to have an academy team. Trick Esports, uh, now a Danish team, actually joins this lineup as they have signed an academy roster formed with both former players from their Trick Esports main roster. That is two players known as Hectos and Mithr. They actually played together for a short time. Also, I think Mithr was actually a coach for a short time as well for Trick Esports. And they'll be joined by three younger players who are actually new to the professional scene. But on screen, yes, it will be Hectos and Mithr joining this new academy roster for Trick Esports. So ever since they actually had that millionaire in invest a million dollars into the company. It seems like they're making great moves and so far signing off Nico, it seems they're putting a little bit of that money into more reinvesting and they have now signed an academy team. And to some of you this may not be news, but Nick Bunyan has continued his greedy streak and I know he might stumble upon this video and you know probably not like the video itself, but the greed continues. As many of you guys know, Drake Moon came up about a month and a half ago, maybe a month ago or so, and they took over a lot of the major YouTubers. We had Sparkles upload I believe two videos now total. We also had Anomaly upload one video for Drake Moon and yes, now Nick Bunyan has uploaded his fifth video video for Drake Moon. Yes, not one, not two, not three, five videos for Drake Moon. Now I want to assess the situation and just pretty much tell all of you guys, and the reason why I put this in the thumbnail and the title is to get you guys all here and to really show you just the, the proof is on Nick's videos. Now, first off, besides him having these lousy titles, these clickbait thumbnails and titles of him winning things with his unlimited refills every now and again, it seems pretty obvious to the point where if you guys do not know as of right now, if you are sponsored by a gambling website, whenever you want money to do a video, they will give you money. So he can easily show himself winning these these bets and occasionally because he actually did one of these videos where he won a dragon lore and he actually made profit people got you know received a lot of hate because people realized this he started now showing pretty much in all of his videos of four of the five videos he loses several hundred dollars worth of skins in every video he does on Drake Moon yet people are still I don't want to say idiotic but people are still naive enough to actually still use Drake Moon I mean with titles like this though a case opening system that works oh more profit it's really tricking people to saying like oh my gosh I'd rather not open cases. Let's go gamble it on Drake Moon because I'll make more than I would if I was opening cases, which even then isn't necessarily true. It's all deception and lies and everyone is feeding into this. But anyway, guys, whatever has to do, whatever he has to do to pay the bills, to a certain extent, I cannot blame him. I wanted to rant about this very shortly. I want you guys all to know from the bottom of my heart, please do not. I don't encourage gambling, okay? Yes, it can be entertaining for some people to do on live stream. I do not want to entertain you guys and tell you all to go gamble on websites. And that's why I announced my new sponsor 
sponsorship with Flashy Flashy, which literally gives you guys referral codes to free gambling. And I tell you guys clearly, do not use any more skins besides the referral codes. There's $15 worth of free referral codes on Flashy Flash, Zuri, my good friend's website. Now, although he makes money if you guys gamble more on the websites, I don't encourage you to do that. It was kind of a uh, one niche in the sponsorship where I was like, Zuri, I'm not gonna go tell him to gamble more. And he understands that, you know, he's not dumb and you guys aren't dumb. There's always a, there's always a motive out there. But I want you guys, this is how you can, you know, a little by little actually screw over the gambling system. It's not gonna equate to much, but you can use your free money don't lose any more money. Don't go above and beyond. Don't don't actually deposit your own skins. Just use it. See if you win any with referral codes. After that, guys, don't gamble. I know it's a it's a steep downhill slope. I really want to encourage you guys not to gamble. And I just wanted to have a, a rant about it really quickly. Anyway, though, let's close out CSK News today. Oh. And lastly, today's CSK News, guys, we are slowly but surely finalizing all of our ECS finals teams. And why this is a big deal is actually going to be our biggest prize to a pearl tournament until the major in January, guys. It's going to come December, and we have our four North American teams. We talked about this yesterday. It will be our top four, by far and away, our top four North American teams actually qualified in our four spots. It'll be Cloud9, SK, Immortals, and Optic Gaming over there for our North American teams. And for, uh, you know, surprisingly enough, for our European ECS, all these European teams are traveling all across the world. And by far and away, probably more competition over there in European, as many of you guys know. And it's not going to be our top four European teams in the world who are our top four ECS European teams. First off, we do have a Strauss who had the best ECS record. They won their last 10 maps. They qualify number one. We also had FaZe, Envious join them for two and three. And finally, it should be Dignitas in that fourth spot. I think they did edge out G2 by a total over, I think it was 16 or 18 matches by a total round differential of just six rounds. Dignitas should be our fourth ECS team. And so for the first time in a while, guys, for this season number two of ECS finals, we could have hopefully a North American champion for the first time. And hopefully, actually, with these, you know, European teams being lesser tier than what we expected, you know, we don't have NIP. We don't have Virtus Pro over there. So it's going to be really cool to see how these ECS finals work out. But playoffs should be starting soon. And those should be our four European teams. Hopefully, Dignitas. I think it's a round differential. Otherwise, they could be doing a playoff. But I'm pretty sure Dignitas will take that four spot for the ECS finals. As always, guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode of CSK News. Today is my last day back home. Thanksgiving break is over. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. I had a great time. Last night, I streamed six hours straight. It was absolutely tiring, but so much fun. I'm surprised I stole my voice intact. I will see you guys all tomorrow back in my apartment. Better Wi-Fi, better internet connection. Should be a great time and hopefully a great few weeks of finals as well. Hope you guys all enjoy. As always, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I'll see you all next time. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.